record this video. What do you say? Since it's recording, let's record it. Okay, so then we're going to do that same problem that we just did the hard way now, okay? So how many moles of oxygen are in 12.23 grams of water? Well, the first thing we need to do is figure out the molecular weight of water. We did that earlier, so I didn't erase it, and so I would have to do it again. But you can see there, pause the video if you want. Okay, now what we need to do is convert grams, or AMUs, to grams, okay? So to figure out the mass of water that we have, uh, the mass of one water molecule, okay? How do we do that? We take 18.02 AMU and multiply that by our conversion factor that we recalled just a second ago. 1.661 times 10 to the negative 24th gram equals 1 AMU, which is a very small number. So we just take that conversion vector, put AMU on the bottom, right, because we want AMUs to cancel out. 1.661 times 10 to the negative 24th gram, AMUs cancel. And we get the mass in grams of one water, one water molecule. Okay, so okay, so I got two point nine nine three. I'll just take it out a couple more. One two times ten to the negative twenty third gram. So that's how much. One water molecule weighs. Okay. So now we got to figure out. So this is how many grams we can even write per one water molecule if we want. Okay. We could, and we could say here 18.02 AMUs per one water molecule, and that's where that unit would have come from. It'll make it easier in a second. This is why I'm doing. So let's now figure out the mass of one mole of water molecule. Okay? So how do we do that? So the mass of a mole of water? Well, we know how much it is for one water molecule. How many grams? So 2.99312 times 10 to the negative 23rd grams for one water molecule. What other number do we know now? Avogadro's oh, number, know. right? So 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd water molecule. That equals one mole, right? One mole, that's right. So we can divide that by one mole. Why is this confusing? How many things is a mole? How many items? How many units? 6.022 times oh, yeah. 10 to the yeah. 23rd, right? Right. right? Okay, so we've got now, can cancel out this water molecule with that, right? And that gives us grams per mole, right? right? And that was something we got just by looking at this earlier. We didn't have to do all this calculation. Okay, so let's get that number and see if it's 18.02. Okay, so multiply that by 6.022, 23. Ah, what did we get? 18.02.
seven are in each mole of water. How many? How many moles of oxygen per one mole of water? One. One, one to one, right? One mole of oxygen to one mole of water. Okay. So, um, and we also know that we've got 12.33 grams of water. So uh, the number of moles of water that we're going to have is going to be 12.33, or 12.23 uh, grams of water divided by 18.0245 grams per one mole.